Hi guys, welcome to another tutorial on my YouTube channel. And today I'm starting a new journaling. This is going to be an extremely simple kind of journaling which uh, any beginner could follow and does not require a lot of, you know, dyes or things like that. My mixed media journal, which I normally do, which is my art journal, I have a lot of layers, etc. that I play around. This is going to be very simple, very flat kind of a journal that I'll be doing for this particular journal. So I hope you stay with me throughout the journey of both my art journal and this particular journal. I'll be posting a lot of videos for both my journals in upcoming days. So stay tuned. So for the first page, what I, what I do is I start off with uh, some water. So I sprayed some water and then I took some craft angles, liquid watercolors. The color that I have used over here is ocean breeze. Again, I have diluted it a lot and I've kind of spread it out. Once it is dry, I took these circle stencils. So these are uh, like, I think they are called uh, similar to protractors. So these are used in geometry in schools in India and you find them very commonly in a stationary shop. So my idea was to use, you know, things which are simply and easily available to each and every one of you. And here is another such stencil which I found in stationery shop. These contain various shapes like triangles, circles, uh, squares, rectangles, so on and so forth. So I thought it would be a cool addition and it will create some beautiful shapes while I did my doodling. And that is exactly what I did over here. I did some doodling using both the stencils. And you will be seeing a lot of these stencils in my future tutorials as well. And then I did some more stenciling using a pen. Now this question also I get a lot is what the pen, what is the pen that I have used? Now the pen that I have used is a regular black gel pen, which again I got in stationery shop for like 10, 15 rupees. And that is what I'm using here. Now the next step uh, is that I used some die cuts. So these are negative die cuts from my projects that I did earlier. So these die cuts are negative from craft angle styles and then I did some stamping on top of it using my wooden alphabet stamp. Again, whatever products that I use, uh, like which are not easily you will be able to find in the stationery stores like the stamps, the diary, etc. All of them will be linked in the description below. So you can check that out if you're interested in any of the supplies. Now, once I was done with uh, the stamping, I decided to select on my main character. Now, this is a new release by Craft Angles, especially for general enthusiasts like yourself. So this is a four by six sticker pack, which has 25 different images. All of them are sized four by six centimeters and they are thematic. Like this particular one I have used from a set called Silhout and it contains Silhout of people. Uh, like, you know, there is a girl standing, a boy standing, people sitting, friends dancing and so on and so forth. So again, I'll link that product below for you. And once I was done, I move on to add some splatters. Uh, using some yellow liquid watercolors just for some contrast and then I complete this with a Tim Holtz sticker again the product will be linked below for you all. So that completed the right part of my first page and now I'll move on to my second page. Now for my second page I have only used stickers and uh, some old novel book that's it nothing else so you know this will be even more easier for you. So what I do is I first stick a old novel page and then I start off with some coordinating stickers in similar colors. So the first one that I have used is Craft Angles Pretty Plate Sticker Rolls. It's from that. So basically in sticker roll, you get five rolls of 2.25 inch by 18 inch sticker. And all those five are like uh, similar in design and they coordinate with each other. So the ones that I'm using is Pretty Plate vintage script vintage butterfly so that butterfly also comes from a sticker rule and now what you see on screen is ruler prints so this gives different ruler prints in different colors so you have white brown and black i selected the white one for my project and then here is again the four by six centimeter sticker so this is from a different pack called traveler and i wanted to keep the theme primarily pinks and purples and that is what i have used over here i used a similar shade uh, image for the same 
and then to further decorate it i have used another piece of sticker roll this is from vintage tickets and it contains vintage tickets in a lot of colors i selected the pink ones as you know it coordinated with my page and then i finally ended it with a motivational sticker again from craft angle so this one is a beautiful motivational quote and then I simply added some splatters of yellow quartz uh, watercolor pans. So these are shimmer pans, highly pigmented. So that was the page for today. Uh, I am trying to cover both the page simultaneously in one go. So you kind of can see, you know, how using different supplies, you can get very varied results. So both my right page and left page are going to be drastically different. But that's the idea. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. I'll be back with another tutorial pretty soon and I'll see you then. Till then, take care guys. Bye-bye.